Good day everybody. Thank you for visiting us IRS Aquaculture. Do like and subscribe our channel if you like our content. So today we're going to take a look at the UV system that is being used for the crab houses here at RAS Aquaculture. You can see from the surface that the UV filter actually just look like any cylindrical tube in which uh, it has a UV field in three UV light bulbs inside. So the inlet of the UV filter actually comprises of a pump in which uh, water exiting the biofilter is being pumped through the UV filter. And we can see that the UV filter is also a manufactured part of the system. So when we bought the system, it came along uh, with the full system. And water that is being treated after the UV is being circulated back to the crab house. So we can see that the UV is the, actually the last operation before recirculating the water back into the crabs. So uh, we, we will take a look at the additional components that make up of the UV filter. So this is the power supply that is being used to power up all the UV tubes inside the, field, the UV filter. Uh, and when we open up the, the cap, uh, we can see individual uh, lines that connects to UV tubes that are slot into each individual sleeve here. It's a bit hard to visualize, but I will show you an animation of how you, you put in the UV tubes into the UV filter, right? And these are the typical UV tubes uh, that are being used in the UV filter. It just looks like any other like uh, like fluorescent light tubes that you can purchase. Uh, and this is how uh, it looks like when pulled out from the covers. And as you can see, it's, it's quite long and it's the full, full length according to the UV filter. So we will show you a quick animation on SOLIDWORKS on how does the UV filter and the UV tube slot into the filter. You can see that you can remove the UV and it's being placed back into the sleeve that you see just now, connected to the cathode and anode. And that's it.